don't know, guys. I don't want to give him up. But then, I don't blame the lady if she want her baby back. Because your mama, sit down. Come on, man. Guys. Gonna miss you. Look at your little stuff. Why you knock the water down? But I thought you said you don't want to live here with me no more. You want a vacation for months. I heard you the other day say you need to, you need to take a vacation. Yeah, vacation because they keep doing too much. For the kids. Hello. Welcome back to Grace and Mercy Family. Today we are doing a mukbang. Yep. And we are about to eat homemade vegetable with some noodles. Yeah. This is my homemade, Super guys. The it looks very there. good. And it's steam high. Y'all see the steam coming out of here? Yeah. It's yeah, there's a lot of steam in mine. Yeah. Let me get that for them. Yeah, this is it. It's hot. It's hot. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and comment below and like this video. Yeah, that's so great. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food we are about to receive. Whatever you did not plant or put it and bless the hand and prepare this food for in Jesus' name. Pray Amen. How you guys day going? We miss yep. you guys. This is one of his favorite food, guys. Because we try to um make videos now the day before. And then the days that we off. If possible, we try to record at least two or three videos or more. It depends what type of video we're making. It's been working, guys. Mmm, this is good. It's awesome. I love it. You like it? Yep. Mm. Do you prefer the restaurant noodles better? Or no. Or mommy? I think yours is better. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm not just saying that because you're on YouTube. I'm just saying because that's what I think. I mean, I love it like that. I think homemade is better than restaurants. My kids will tell you the truth. They won't be rude, but they tell you if they don't like something. I just raised them like that. I always tell them not to be rude, but let a person know that she don't like it. You know what I mean? Instead of faking it. So, oh, yeah, I love it. And then they will buy it for you next time, and then you don't like it. I used to have a um, friend like that. Her stepmama used to get her some stuff for Christmas. She had a stepmama. Her stepmama used to buy her stuff for Christmas and her birthday. And half of the stuff her stepmama would get her, she won't like it. And then she would come to me and talk about it and complain. I said, why don't you tell her that you don't like it? You know what I mean? That you appreciate it. And tell her the things that you like. That way she'll get to know you better. She's like, girl, I just tell her I like it just so she can hush her mouth. It's not good. You have to appreciate everything somebody gives you because they don't have to give it to you, you know? I know that's your stepmom, and plus, you know, you got to get to know her. But you got to let her know, like, oh, thank you, I like it. Or so-and-so. I like this color, but my favorite color is this. Don't be rude, but be nice about it the way you tell her that what you like. Don't be like, oh, I don't like this. No, like that. But let her know, like, she get the picture that she don't like it. Instead of taking it. Act like a happy face, but mm -hmm. in, so, in your heart, you don't want, you don't want it. So her stepmama will buy the same thing for her again. The perfume or body spray she will get from Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works. And she knows she good and well. She don't like it. And she used to try to give it away when we was in school. Or to somebody in the neighborhood. I'm like, just tell you, you don't like that type of sense. Tell her that you appreciate it, that you're gonna use it, but your favorite scent is this. Like, I like this, but I don't like this too much. But my favorite scent is this. Let her know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, how this um pandemic thing is going? It's going for you guys. I hope you guys are not stressed out. I'm doing fine. You doing okay? Yep, I'm having fun. Mm -hmm. And doing my work at school. And Two I'm days at school. Yeah, Tuesday and Wednesday. Then mm -hmm. the, the rest, I'm doing computer. Yeah. So, guys, I've been hanging in there because it haven't been easy. But 
We hanging in there, guys. I thought you were going to give us, like, paper homework, but you got to do it on the computer. Mm -hmm. But it's easy, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys. But anyway, guys. My husband had an accident yesterday. Guys. He did? Mm-hmm. Daddy had an accident. She and everything would tell the kids, guys. See? So he had an accident. What's today? Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. Monday. He had an accident Monday, guys. And it's crazy, guys. I had a dream about it, right? That he, um, we, we both was in the car. He was driving. And he wasn't paying attention to the road. And he was looking at his phone. And I was telling him to get off his phone, to pass into the road, so that way he won't crash. This was a week ago. So I kept on praying about him. So every time me and him in the car, I would tell him, baby, pass into the road. You know, don't worry about how other people are driving. Don't worry about how you driving. Because people are going to be them just like you're going to be you. Guys. Sunday, it was his off days. He went in. I told him to stay home. And he didn't. The next day, he had an accident. But thank God, he fell asleep on the road. He was coming up this way. The guy was going down this way. He fell asleep on the road. And the guy, he was so nice about it. He said, he's a Christian guy. He let my husband go. He said, thank God, because my husband could have run away. And he said, he not had to fix car, So he going to fix his car. Well, the good thing is our car was not messed up. Nothing was wrong with our car, and my husband was okay. And why he, why when he was going through the accidents, I was praying at home. And then he called me, I didn't answer. I was busy praying, and he came home. He had a wreck, so prayer works, and I was praying for him too. But anyway, guys, enough of that. I am so sad today. I received a, a bad phone call today. Like called me yesterday. But I didn't answer, guys. So they call me today again. I thought, this number looks familiar. And they finally talked to me. And it was something about this boy right here. He didn't tell me yet. I didn't tell him yet. Are you ready for it? Yeah. You sure you're not going to hit me? No. If I didn't tell you? Mm-hmm. I adopted you when you was little, but I just didn't want to tell nobody. And the lady that adopted you, she want her baby back. So the hospital place called me, but I have proof, pictures and all that when he was little, documents and stuff like that. I didn't want to tell him. Even my husband, you know, I didn't want to let him know, like the lady called, the doctors and stuff, the people that was involved and all that stuff. Cause I took him to the hospital so he can get checked and all that stuff. And when the lady gave birth to him, I went to go visit the baby because she didn't want him. I knew her when she was pregnant, y'all. But she won Samuel. She said when she gave birth to you, your name was Joshua. But she did so I can change your name, so I changed your name. But she wanted him to come back because she been with her husband and she don't have kids. And she felt bad because the baby she gave away when she was little and she wants you back and she asked him can she see you two more so i was like well i don't know how to say this because they're gonna find out anyway when you go on the united videos i said it's best for me to make a video that way we can let you guys know that what's going on in our lives because you know i am gonna miss him guys i don't want him to hate me my other kids gonna miss him but i don't know guys i don't want to give him up but then I don't blame the lady if she want her baby back. Because when you really look at him, he don't really look like me if you see him. You see his face? And I wonder why sometimes he can be kind of stubborn. You know, I'm very nice and calm. You didn't pay attention to those signs? Why my mommy nice and calm? I'm kind of wild like rock home sometimes. Hmm? Your mama, sit down. Come on, man. Girl, I probably want to tell him. Don't start crying now. Huh? Guys. He over there crying, guys. I feel bad about it. But guys. Samia, come here. Guys, he walked out on me. 
He's sad. Samuel, he crying, y'all. He crying. But I have all these pictures in here. All these little cute little pictures with me and him. Y'all, wait, I'm about to go call him. Samia! Sam Sam! That scene when he was a baby, y'all. So I'm gonna miss him, guys. Y'all see him when he's a baby? Come here. And then, this is school. They say President of the United States. They gave that to him last year, guys. I'm gonna miss him. And this was him when I adopted him at the hospital. She had just given birth to him. Hold on, hold on. Let me see, let me see. And that's him too when he was a baby. Cause I was monitoring her when she was pregnant. She was gonna give me some year, but she said Joshua. So how do you think about that? How do you feel? Guys. I hope you guys can see it. that's when he was a baby. And that's his little chunky big head around Christmas time, me and him. I was skinny, guys. So, are you ready to go back to your family? Because she don't have kids. And she said every day she prayed to God that she'll find you. And she found you. She went to the hospital and they was able to trace you down. Some places that she look, I won't say. Guys, that's him. He was like one week old in that picture. He was big. Right here, he was one week old. He was like five days old in this picture, guys. Y'all see that? He was five days old. Yes, y'all. I'm gonna miss you. Look at y'all little stuff. Why you knock the water down? Look how cute he is, y'all. You don't wanna go back to the lady? Look at him. He was like two years old in that picture. I can she said I can come and visit you. You don't can I come and visit you? Hmm? She's a little bit lighter than me too. She's a pretty lady. She, now she can take your view. And she's a lawyer now. So she's gonna try to fight this case. Yeah, she get you back. She said she made a mistake, which I understand people make mistake. But she was pregnant back then, she didn't want you. She was busy partying and partying. You know what I mean? So she didn't want, that's him when he was a baby, y'all. When I went to go visit him, I act like he was my baby. They doing it now, Sergeant. They're doing it, they're doing it. I think, I think you guys saw this picture. And then these are the pictures, I have to cover this person up, y'all. That's me when I had graduated. Okay, let me see. That's me when I had graduated. If y'all can see. He was, that's him right there. But, how you feel about that? You don't want to meet your mom? She's a lawyer now. Hold on. Let's talk about this. You got stuff in your hand. She's a lawyer now. She got a nice house. All that stuff. She says she got an eight bedrooms. She has a nice fancy house. So I think it's best for you to go stay with her because you can get a better house. You know, you want the big room. You say you want a bigger room? And you want a backyard with trampoline? She have all those things to give to you, you know? I told you when I get some money, we're going to get a nice big yard trampoline, the stuff that you always wanted. Guys, he's sad, y'all. He's sad. Lady Sway, Lady Sway. You don't want to go live with them? I can come and visit you. Can I come and visit you? Y'all, look at him. I can come and visit you over there. She said I can come and visit you. I can come, even come and get you every Saturday and bring you back because she want to go to church with you on Sunday. So Friday to Saturday, I can come get you or just on Saturday. You crying? 
But I thought you said you don't want to live here with me no more. You want a vacation from us. I heard you the other day say so you need to you need to take a vacation. Yeah, vacation because they keep doing too much. For the kids. Oh, but you say you want to take a vacation with me. You pranking me. No, I'm not. He said he want to take a vacation with me because his brother knew was doing too much. Why would I be pranking you like that? Why would I put your your pictures on there like that? Hmm? I wasn't going to tell you. I was just going to pack your stuff and then drop you off and tell you that I'll come back and get you and then come back. Because I feel like if I tell you, I was going to hurt your heart. But I was like, you know what? They might ask about you. What am I going to tell them? So it's best for you to say your last word to them. Tell them goodbye. But when I come and get you Friday to Sunday with me, you can make a video. Because I told her that we do YouTube now. She said, that's fine. You can still do your YouTube when I come and get you. But you have to move in with her tomorrow. She wants to meet you. I have to drop you off over there. She got a big house, son. She got a pool, inside pool, outside pool. We don't even have one pool over here. I don't care. You don't care? When we take big, we go swimming, we have to go rent, some, pay somewhere to go swimming. At least she got a pool. She don't have to pay for all that stuff. I don't like that anymore. You like this family more? We love you too, but the lady don't have a child and she wants you back. Hmm? Stop crying. It's gonna be alright, okay? Do you have me? Stop crying. Look at me. Do you really want me to be your mom? What what would you tell her tomorrow if she says she she wanna keep you tomorrow? Because she wants to meet you first. I'm stay here. You wanna you wanna tell her you wanna stay here? But she's a lawyer now and she's gonna fight this case. She said she's gonna fight this case to make sure she gets you back. She knows that it's been a long 10 years, but she wants you back. Look at him crying, y'all. You that sad? But she have a big fancy house for you, son. You don't wanna go live with her? I don't care. It's you don't care if they're rich, you just want a nice family? Oh, I'm gonna miss you so much that touch my heart. Oh, baby boy. It was just a prank. I was just playing. It was a prank. It was a prank, yeah. It was a prank, yeah. Look at him. Come closer, son. Let us look at you. Yeah, look at him. Look how quiet he is. Look at him, y'all. Yeah. Look how sad he is. Y'all see him? I'm not doing this anymore. Huh? <laughs> Guys, he mad. He left. He don't want to be in the video, man. Look at you, man. He mad. He don't want to be in the video. I said do you. I said get you. You don't want to do YouTube, my girl? What? Yeah, he don't want to do video no more because I keep pranking him. Yeah, look at him. Look at me. That's me when I was pregnant with him. Y'all see that? I was heavily pregnant. I think I was a week a week before I go into labor. That was me. I was in my, with my friend house. Me and her was roommates. It was her apartment, but I was living with her. I had my own room. I was waiting. I was on the waiting list waiting for me to get my apartment. That was my buddy right there. That was her apartment. I was cleaning, matter of fact. And then she took that picture. She's like, girl, look at your stomach. The baby is moving around your stomach. He used to put his fist on my stomach like this. You can see his foot. And then my friend decided to take a picture because I was busy cleaning the counter and everything. She's like, you need to slow down. And then she took a picture. Y'all see me? I was like, um, what, 10 months pregnant right there. Cause I came, I'll have him on my due date, January 12th. Remember I was telling you guys, they gave me a deadline. If I don't have him on the 12th, on the 13th, they won't give me a, um, a surgery. That's him. Oh yeah. What's that picture when I just gave birth to you? Hmm? Guys, I feel so bad. Where is it, Sam? Don't, um, I know her. don't show that um picture of her face on there. Some, some people don't like to be on TV. I know. I know her. Okay. I know she's on my mom. Now I'm just saying. That's why you covered it up. Yeah, some people might not like to be on national TV. 
and stuff like that, or well, well, that's why I blocked her face. Unless she gave me the permission to. This is him, guys. I had just gave birth to him. I just pushed him out of my cuckoo, and they wrap him up and put him on my leg. And then, my friend took a picture. That's me right there at the hospital. They'll see the stuff on my hand. I just pushed him out looking all rough. You see that? I wish I can see it good. I was glowing, guys, when I gave birth to him. I was glowing. But I feel so bad. And I seen when he was one day old. He was one day old, yeah. But anyway, we're about to end this video. We're about to end this video. We'll see you guys next time. So I got him good, guys. Tim Grace. Bye, loves. You still married? You don't talk to me? Huh? I'm talking five, five weeks. Five weeks? Why? Because I prank you good? You've been pranking me all this while I give me back. So I prank you back. Yeah.